I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a bicycle with a basket full of flowers. I take four fingers on the left, put a dot, four fingers on the right, put another dot. Go to the first dot. We're going to draw a baby circle. On the left, come on the right, we're going to draw another baby circle. Take one finger right above that and put another dot. One finger, put another dot. From that dot on the left, we're going to draw a circle. On the right hand side, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw a circle. We come inside and now we're going to mimic that line again. So I'm going to draw inside on the left another circle and I'm going to come on the right hand side and I'm going to draw mimic that line again and draw an inside circle. I come right over here on the left and I draw a curve line up over down connect on the left I come on the right hand side I draw a curve line up over down and connect. I come right here in the center and I draw a curve line over, connect, come underneath, draw another curve line over, connect. Right in the center I put a dot and from that dot I draw a straight diagonal down and then I draw a baby rectangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I come right about here in the center and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal up, come back down, draw another straight diagonal up, put a little straight line across, I'm going to open that, um, attach that a little bit more. Now at the top I draw a curve line out, curve line over, curve line down, curve line up, connect. Now I come over here on the left hand side and I draw a curve line down and I'm going to draw that line again, curve line down, connect. Right up here at the top I draw a little teeny curve line and now I'm going to draw a curve line up, in, connect, come back over, curve line up, in, connect. Right here at this space. I'm going to draw a curve line on the left, curve line on the right. Come back to the left and I'm going to draw a curve line over, connect. Inside I'm going to draw little curve lines, slightly curve lines going down. Now starting on the left I'm just going to do curve line, curve line, curve line. These are going to be overlaps. They build on each other. Curve line keep going. Now I'm going to come up, curve line, curve line, curve line, maybe one more curve line. If you have room, put a baby circle inside each one of those spaces. If you don't, that's okay. Now I'm going to add curve line up, curve line down, curve line up, curve line down, connect, one, two, over here, I'm going to put, let's put it over here, curve line down, curve line up, curve line down, up, connect, one, two, and maybe one more right here, curve line up, down, up, down, up, connect, one, two, some little added designs. Now I come back inside and I'm going to draw straight lines all the way to the middle baby circle that we started with. And the more you can get in there the better. There are no right 
or wrong amounts because we all draw differently. That's on the left, and this is on the right. Now somebody I know is going to say, that's not how you draw a bicycle. You know what? Do your bike your way, I'll do my bike my way, and then we'll see which one works. This one works for me, okay? Now I'm going to put one, two little curve lines on the left, one, two little curve lines on the right. That's to make it look like it's moving. Those are animation lines. Okay, let's see how we can color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color my little baby circles in here and here on the left and the right in the skinny rim which isn't really a rim, this is the bicycle tire. Now, the reason why I keep saying, you know, this is what I'm doing, you do your own, is because sometimes people get all crazy in the comments section, and it's like, you know, we're all artists, we all do the best we can, some people's will look more different than others, and that's okay, you don't have to get upset. Now I take brown and I co uh, color in this space and this space down below. And it's the same thing with colors. My bike is going to be green. So I found my light green and I colored in all these sections green. Now maybe you want a yellow bike. Maybe you want a red bike. That's fine. It's up to you. You are the artist. I'm just showing you some directions on how I would do it. Okay, I went ahead and I made the insides of my little flowers here yellow and then I made my butterflies orange okay and then I made my flowers red and again, you can make yours blue, or you can make yours purple, or you can make yours whatever color you want. You are the artist. And then the last thing I did was add a little bit more yellow on my basket. And you can do that any color you want also. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my bike all colored in, ready to pedal off into springtime. Okay, bye-bye.